The Gospel of Luke A two-part story across both Luke and Acts. One of the earliest accounts of Jesus' life. Luke writes this story to show the orderly account of the things that have been fulfilled among us. Jesus came to set the captives free and proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. He came to heal the sick, restore the broken, and find the lost. This is shown in Luke 15. Jesus tells three parables. The parable of the lost sheep, the lost coin, and the parable of the lost son. Many of you know this one as the prodigal son, and that's what we're going to focus on. But we're not going to focus on the son, we're going to focus on the father. The story goes like this. There once was a man with two sons. One son, the older, was responsible. The younger was a little crazy and wanted to do things wild and free. The younger son requested his father sell his land and give him his inheritance early. So the father did, sold half his land and gave the inheritance to his younger son. The younger son went for the city. He partied, met a lot of people, spent a lot of money, and had a great few months just going nuts with his inheritance. But long story short, he lost everything. Distraught, confused, and alone, the son needed to work. So he found a job as a servant boy, feeding farm animals. He was so hungry, starving, that he even tried to eat their food. And the son had a great idea. I'll run back home and ask my dad if I can be a servant on his farm. Or let's get back to dad. I'm sure that he had many sleepless nights worrying about his son, I'm sure he was worried about what to do, didn't know where to go, and was constantly looking down the road for his son to return home. See, I would imagine that the father never stopped searching for his son, never stopped looking to see where he was coming from, and hoping beyond hope that one day he would see his son walking down the road. And I know this because in Luke 15 it clearly states that while he was a long way off, the father saw the son coming. The father ran to his son and embraced him. And a massive celebration was thrown. The father put the best robe on his son and shoes on his feet and a ring on his hand and welcomed him back into his home. There wasn't any worry or concern. All the father cared about was the son was home. It's the same way with God. He doesn't care what's happened before, or what you've done yesterday, or even today. All he cares about is that you return to him. He's constantly looking down the proverbial road looking for you, wishing that his child would just return home. Wishing that his son would return home. That's right. The Lord is constantly wanting you to return to him. The story of the prodigal son is one of my favorites in scripture because it's an absolutely stunning and amazing view of what God clearly shows because you have the parable of the lost sheep, lost coin, and the lost son back to back to back. And what God is basically saying to you is this, if you're lost, I am looking for you. I want to find you. And I don't care where you've been, whether you've been in the muck and the mire with the sheep, whether you've been stuck under a couch like a coin, or whether you were a servant boy like my like the lost son, I want to find you. And he's searching for you in radical pursuit of your heart. He loves you passionately and infinitely. Agape. I hope you guys enjoyed this digital discipleship this week. And I pray that as you watch these videos, you study the books and you get deeper into the stories that we're talking about. So God bless you guys this week. Next week, Pastor Jack will be back to talk about the book of John. And um, on Wednesday Refresh, we will get a little deeper into the prodigal son story. God bless you guys. Praying for you all. Have a good one.